What's going on guys? It's me Shukashu. We are back with another Uma Musume video and in this video we are continuing my preparation for League of Heroes and honestly it is about an hour and a half later than I usually record and <laughs> the reason being is that I took a glimpse, a quick glimpse of the comments. Um and I saw Echo's comment. <laughs> and you guys will figure out why I took about an hour and a half. I don't know why it took me that long, but I had to really make sure. But uh, we're here with Sakura Bakushino, and uh, we're just here, just trying to get my team ready for LOH or League of Heroes. At this point, whatever the best I get at the end of all this preparation might be the trio that they bring. I mean, we know the trio it might be just the ones I take out there, but uh, same setup. Nothing really has much changed except this time around. Uh, we're still we're still doing we're now doing the new setup with um, this character with Sakura Bakushino, the same as Silent Suzuko. But let's jump in. But yeah, an hour and a half in. Um, but first, let me go through the comments now. Eugen, I saw your comment from the Taiki Shuttle video. And when you commented that, it was literally like minutes after I um, after I finished recording the Suzuka video. So I'm gonna go with both your comments first because you do you did comment on the Suzuka one. So um, for the first comment that you did on the Taiki Shuttle video, ah, uh, it's total amount of fans you gain for the month. It resets at the beginning of the month. It doesn't show how many fans you got, so you need to keep the record. For example, you train three Umas for the day, and then at the end of training, you got 200k, 150k, and 400k. So your contribution in the circle for that day is 750k fans and so on until the end of the month. So members' contribution. Huh. Interesting. What about you gain for the month? So basically, all the fans you get throughout the whole month, that is a lot. Because if I think about it that way, all those times that we've trained, like all, like basically training for like the champions meeting and all that, the amount of runs I've done, you, it's crazy. Okay. I agree, it's fun to be free to play and it feels good, like how I get my first platinum. How I got my first platinum and CM, but yeah, there are times you can't help to feel competitive and feel some frustration when you lose. So free to play trainers can do, but it's a bit harder mode. I can say, yeah, definitely it is. Uh, it feels good to be free to play, and you get, I guess, in champions meaning as far as group A finals, and you just basically make it there. But it feels even better if you can get that first place above the other two players or trainers out there uh, but yeah I don't know about frustration I haven't really felt too much frustration when it came down to the CM I think because I know that there's gonna be better uh, characters that are or Umas that are trained because of uh, the, the whales <laughs> but it's not as um, it's not as annoying. Annoying is that the right word? It's not. It's, it's not as. I guess what I'm trying to say is that because I've said this many times, League of Heroes is just more um, towards the whales. In Champions Meeting, at least you have the opportunity to hold a win. It's it's very possible. Um, it's just a matter of, I guess, RNG at the same time. I don't know. I feel like RNG because depending on how the run goes, um, I feel like you could probably edge them out. Like, um, in the last CM when I could have won, if Taishin could have done something differently. So, 
Uh, but since that was like my first time going to Group A finals in such a long time, it felt really good to just make it there to begin with. But yeah, it's just a little bit harder to be free to play, but it is more manageable in Champions Meeting than it is in uh, League of Heroes. And then on to her, uh, your second comment from the Silent Suzuka video regarding to hard green skills like Nakayama or core distance. I usually get it when I'm lacking three green, green skills to activate early the groundwork. Similar to Kapano Riki that you need as many green skills, six plus at best, to activate a certain race course to fully maximize her unique skill bonus. I did, I wouldn't know because I don't have Kapano Riki. <laughs> I did want to I did want to pull her, but I didn't end up getting her. Well, hard green skills adds 40 stamina and 60 if it's I'm assuming maxed out or upgraded. And then so green skills for Nakayama and core distance. Yeah, I usually um that's the reason why I scroll down all the way usually when I uh pick out the skills. Is because I want to pick the skills out from bottom to top. That way I can pick the green skills towards the end. I know once in a while I probably would pick out um, a green skill early. Uh, without even thinking about it. It just, I guess, force a habit. But yeah, usually I would pick it towards the end. Just to make sure that I got all the skills that I needed. And then from there, if I could round them out to what skill, uh, to the skills I needed. If I could round it out to, depending on how many skill points I have, I usually go towards the green skills to help, like, possibly get one or two more. Um, on Goddess Extra Training Selection, there's no wise points bonus indeed. It's only these selections. Yeah, I figured, I figured there wasn't wise. I was just making sure. Top skill, um, skill points, middle speed, and um, bottom one, obviously, because that's the one I picked the most is stamina. Ah, shucks. If speed could have done higher but you were doing pretty darn good now with this, this training it's just the speed was not around 1400 that didn't make you uf yeah if the speed was at least 1400 i i'm pretty sure it would have been uf i tried training silent suzuka from the other day for fun and got ug5 and the stats as close as yours i use guts bakushin since i can't use the y sports bourbon card to secure groundwork without relying on inheritance but this is a good set if you are not using the great escape yeah i don't when i do my runner set i normally don't go for great escape uh, I don't know why, to be honest. I guess I because I never really tried setting up for Great Escape that I don't want to go for something that I'm not used to just yet. Um, either way, I'll want to try using Great Escape skill with 1k stamina and gold recovery, even if it's short distance. If I get good results, I will share it to you. I'm going to chill on this month's League of Heroes and... Will not put much effort, just like from the previous one. I got UF4 Asan Machan and UF5 Chocoban from those runs. In competitive side with my lineup, all escape. They didn't win on room match, but I can see they are still doing well to fight side by side. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, that I'll probably just end up doing um the highest ones that I get out of. If I don't end up getting like a UF or UG9 or UG8, I might just end up using the highest trained one from the three that I have just to have have some kind of some some kind of team to bring over there. Sadly, that just might be how, the way it is for me. But thank you, Eugene, for the comments. <laughs> and then the Silvestro from the Silent Suzuka video. Another video about Suzuka. Nice. Silvestro or the the Silvestro. Sil, the Silvestro. Do you is your favorite character um by any chance or favorite Uma? Silent Suzuka by any chance? Because <laughs> I believe first time you commented, you said love it, bro. But it was also on a Silent Suzuka video. I'm trying. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Just. just just noticing it. it just, I just noticed it, so. Let me know down in the comments, man. But thank you again for commenting. And then. I, 
think I want to keep Echo's comment for the last because of how it it kind of you know. Well, okay, we'll, we'll leave Echo's comment for last, and I pre I pretty much have a good reason for it. Um, Nova Boy, I think as a returning player, it's just that sense of a fresh start would be what I am hoping for. I got burnt out, and that was it. Ah. I never really felt burnt out playing this game. I think because I just fully enjoy it and also the fact that I'm also recording it, I guess. I don't know if that makes a factor out of it, but I do genuinely enjoy the game. I think compared to when I first started and all that, I think I do play the game a little bit more than I used to. Like earlier, even like and the Har up and making you track. I think since Grand Live is when I noticed that I really did play the game a little bit more than I usually did. Um, it was during the pandemic and I had Genshin to focus on for a while before I quit the game. The Genshin did come out around that time, didn't it? Um, for me, honestly, I started off when Genshin did first come out but i actually quit early on in the game it wasn't until earlier this year where i came back to it and literally caught up to the whole story and all that. and I'm, right now it's just something that i play on the side whenever um like for dailies new events and all that and yeah it, it's been it's been totally fine along with um honkai star Rail. Uh, still, Uma has always remained in my memories as a game that I think had top graphics and really great Uma design. So, I think I mentioned this like when the game first came out, when I first started recording it also. Um, and also when I first played it before recording. And I was really surprised by the graphics of the game as well. Um, and I also liked the whole, the whole thing about the game when I first started up but what really got me was the graphics and how much effort what i think is how much effort they put into the game i haven't talked to this with um my brother and all that and um yeah i think they did a really good job with the game and that's pretty much why i stuck to the game and also with the efforts they made also to do like the songs and all that, like literally if they wanted to, they could make a rhythm game for this game or for a pretty derby Uma Musume, like a whole different game, just keeping it as a rhythm game. I feel like if they wanted to, they could, um, but that's just something that came to my mind, especially uh, after the hour and a half that I was in the that I was um, trying to figure out an answer for Echo's, part of Echo's comment. <laughs> uh, but as for your statement on the new scenario, I would be lying if I said I wasn't scared. I'm not ready to move on from Grandmasters yet, but if it is something more enjoyable, then I'll take it. Um, I don't think, I think they've done a good job on improving every training scenario they release. Uh, but even though I have gone back to Al Haru Cup, I have gone back to make a new track. It still feels the same to me. Even with like the improvements, I'm, I don't know if they did improvements to make a new track, but I know they did to, to the Al Haru Cup. And it still pretty much still feels the same as I did it, originally played it before. So, but I do agree that I, I do. What am I trying to say? I would say that they did improve every training scenario. So, um, I don't feel scared. I'm just more curious on what they're gonna do as a different training scenario. Because if to come up with a new one every half of the game, of the every half, um, I guess six months of the game I feel it's quite 
I want to say ambitious, but I feel like the like to come up with something all the time every six months is cool. And I like the effort they put into the game. It just makes you wonder how far they can go with that. That's all I'm trying to say. It's like how far and how different can they make each training scenario every six months to not make it redundant. So far, each training scenario had like their own thing. So that's the reason why I liked it. But I can get why you're scared. Um, Cause you did mention that uh, you, you're coming back to the game and all that. So I think you missed that on Grand Live. I can't remember really. Uh, let me see if I can figure that out. Um, I know you mentioned when you... Okay, I think I found it. Make a new track. So, yeah, make a new track. Excuse me. Make a new track. So there was two scenarios, or I guess... I don't know if you actually played make a new track. I'm gonna just say you did. So let's just say you missed out on Grand Live and Grand Live was actually not that bad. Um, I actually did enjoy it, especially even more with um, the comment section getting more involved. So, and then you did come back at like in the middle of Grand Masters, I would say. So I could see why you're a little bit scared because you're just starting to get used to um, and used to Grandmasters, I would say, I'm getting more comfortable with it. But at the same time, you can still play Grandmasters if you want while still trying to get used to the new training scenario, if there will be a new training scenario, which I'm pretty sure they will. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens and what differences they make. We lost the medium, the mild distance race. Uh oh. But um, going on, Smart Falcon is one of the most iconic characters for me since watching the Umayon episode on the runner idol girls with Falcon as the Umadol leader. Umayon is the one with like the um, the chibis, right? At least that's how I'm thinking about it. Uh, I think I've watched it once. But I know for a fact I've watched the season one and season two more than that, because, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think I, the next Uma I'm hoping to come out is Simbly Serious or Serious Simbly. I think that's her name. Also, happy 4th of July. Well, as I'm recording this, it is after 4th of July. I believe I didn't mention it on yesterday's video, uh, but it's okay. But I guess happy belated 4th of July to you too as well. Let me get this. And that just leaves us with... Oh, thank you for the comment, Nova Boy, by the way. But that just leaves us with... Eugen's... Not Eugen. Echo's comment. Uh, this is the comment. And it's not even that long of a comment. It's <laughs> what uh, you asked me, Echo. So, and, and it's just one, one of your questions. It's not all of them that made me um, sit for an hour and a half thinking of the right answer. But uh, let's start off with your comment. I mean, green skills are something you buy if you don't have anything else to buy or if you need more speed. Yeah, that's what I figured because it was just weird that you had mentioned that um, uh, you had mentioned to go for the um, cause you, um, said don't buy green stamina skills unless you don't have 400 stamina. It's, a uh, pretty different from saying to buy it instead of if you don't have anything else to buy. So it's all good. It's all good. I pretty much figured that that could be the reason why or when to buy it. It's better to buy speed up skills because they give more than green once when activated. Um, every green skill gives 40 points to their specific stat. Upgrading green skills gives 60 instead just in case make sure you buy skills that your uma will buy able whoa 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 just in case make sure you buy skills that your uma will be able to activate because even if a skill doesn't have any position in japanese this translation can be easily 
can easily be directed to overtaking not runners or leading umas um just like what i said with eugen um i usually buy the green skills towards the end normally when i if i would buy the greens or pick the green skills early it's a uh, force of habit if i see it i'll probably just get excited and pick it i don't know about excited but i guess it's just uh just normal for me to just pick it at one point and sometimes i pick it a little bit too early but normally like i said i'll go through the bottom to the top and then depending on how many um skill points i have left i'll go towards the green skills <laughs> and something for you to talk about first question who is your favorite uma i think i've made it pretty clear that tokai teo is my favorite um favorite uma out of everyone although when season three comes out and i just need to see what they do about kita because i do really like kita and since in i guess before i move on if I if I go on, there, I might be talking about spoilers and all that. So if you haven't watched the anime itself, then if you don't mind spoilers, then go on ahead. Um, but if you don't want to get spoiled, then I would probably uh, hold off for the next probably five minutes. I'd say I don't I don't think I'm gonna take that long, but ten minutes just to be safe. I'll probably add a timestamp. For, for the end of this question so we can move on to the next question if you guys don't want to get spoiled but uh Teo has been my favorite since season one um i always like her personality and all that but in season two the reason why i want to wait for season three because akita is uh because in season two pretty much we didn't really see her like in tracen so kind of just want to see how they're going to like put what story they're going to do around her season two really in my opinion did really well story wise um with the mixture of like their comedy and all of that what they did a really good job on the more of the i guess serious drama aspect of the season i'd say uh with a good mixture of teos then mcqueen and rice shower and all that so i feel like they did a really good job with their oops that wasn't supposed to happen with what they did um i guess that wasn't that bad or much of a spoilers huh i i think i just really held back on trying to talk about season two and season one a lot but That would probably be my answer to why. I mean, season two really solidified me really liking Teo, I would say. Uh, pretty sure since season three is about Kida and Daya, I feel like Teo will still um, be a support or supporting character like she was in season one. But we'll see what happens when the anime does come out later on. And then the next question. Who is your favorite singer from this game? Now that was the question that got me sitting here in my chair for an hour and a half before recording. <laughs> Cause I had to go back to the songs and listen to some characters and all that. Um, not a bad thing, honestly. It gives me a reason to go listen to the songs. And like I mentioned earlier that when the game could had honestly have its own rhythm game they could probably do it because with all the amount of songs they have and all that they can literally probably get a rhythm game going or something something along those lines um but i would say my favorite singer i had a hard time picking between I'd say three or four and they all have something pretty much similar and common when it comes down to singing. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to pick up on that. But 
Um, when I was answering your... When you asked me what was my favorite song or songs, because I think I just gave you multiple answers for that one. Uh, the trio that I had gone with majority of the time when listening to the songs, when I was able to pick uh, these three characters together was Narita Taishin, Aguri Cap, and Simbali Rudolph. And then I randomly put Mr. CB in and I kind of did like, they all had pretty much got me the same way when it came down to their singing. And um, let me pick the this phrase real quick. And um, it just came down to those four specifically. I also tr did listen to Kida, Teo, and all that. I know Teo's Machiko, and she had done the openings for Konosuba, season one, season two, and the recent one that has come out. Um, and then. But I didn't really listen to them. Because I didn't want to go with the bias answer go with Teo. Because honestly, I did like these four over Teo when it comes down to singing. I like Teo more as a character. Uh, but... How am I trying to explain this? Well, I think I would just say that I had gone over the same song. Putting each and every one of them, the four of them, in the middle to see... Who I like between the four, and they're all pretty similar in a way, but I could I found little differences that made them stand out and made it easier for me to pick. Now, now with Symboli Rudolph, you guys didn't know, or if you didn't know at all, it's fine. Uh, because only if you I guess played the game you would know. Now, the more I listen to her sing. The more I got this voice that sounded related to me in uh, one of the rhythm games that I don't really play too much, um, but I am currently returned. I've currently returned to the game because it is their sixth anniversary and it is um, Idol Master Million Live. And she is in one of the she is one of the characters there and it caught I kind of picked up on that when I was listening to her sing, which is crazy because she's, you know. Um, but then I think between the four, Cap and Taishin was really close. So it pretty much came down to Rudolph and Cap. But since I, when I finally noticed the voice actor or actress in this case, uh, I decided to go with Sibley Rudolph as my favorite singer or Uma's singer out of the group out of the group I guess <laughs> but yeah I went through a couple of the different songs uh at the end of the like me listening I decided to just compare them through Miss Victoria but I did go through Dramatic Journey um you know Starting Gate which is the season one uh opening and then I also added a few other characters, like just to really make her voice, their voices stand out. Because if I put all three of them together, they all sound the same <laughs> in a way. But I kind of like the vibes I get because if you guys, I don't know, when I listened, first listened to Miss Victoria and all that, with those three specifically, it kind of gave me like, the vibes I get, the vibes I get when I was listening to, let's say, I guess related to another series or a game, Bang Dream. When it comes down to like either Roselia or Razor Sullen, and you could pretty much see why these specific Umas became like choices that I would had to choose from. But uh, Simply Rudolph would have to be my favorite singer out of. In this game, I guess. 
And yeah, that did take me an hour and a half. Honestly, it did. Um, that was going to be done in like 30 minutes top. Trying to figure out that uh, an answer to that question. But um, as I kept listening, I had a little bit of a harder time. And so I kept going back, listening, going to different songs. And it didn't help that I had to go through a change of four characters. But um, but um, yeah, simply Rudolph. And then the last part of the comment. Who do you think should be used more in CMs, but it's hard to train and win with, in your opinion? Hmm. Let me think about it for a bit. Because the thing is... The problem I have thinking about this is because of the meta, honestly. But you can honestly use whoever you want when it comes down to the CMs. And it all comes down to how you train them. Certain characters have certain quirks where it makes them a little bit harder to train. Um, like Rice, Rice Showers is quite emotional when it comes down to training her. Like you'll see her motivation go down uh, pretty often. I haven't trained her in a long time, but from what I remember, that's how it was for me. Um, I forgot who else also had that, but hard to train. I wouldn't say hmm. hard to train should be used more in CMs and win with, in your opinion. Honestly, that's a hard pick. Because there's so many Umas out there uh, that it, I don't think I've gone out on too many dates. Um, there's so many Umas out there that it kind of just makes it a really tough question to answer. Because with like long distance, um, medium distance, and I guess mile now, I haven't really had too much of a struggle. Although those are some characters that I am pretty much used to using. But at the same time. Hmm. <laughs> you really got me stumped here. Pretty hard to think about. And it doesn't help that I don't have all the characters as well. So... I guess based off my account, I would say off my account. Ooh. Because <laughs> I think I've had pretty good success or pretty good trainings with majority of them. Although for me, the character that I have like heavily avoided training uh, was Haru. Like, no offense to her character and all that. Honestly, no offense to her character. Uh, it's just... I don't like her schedule. I don't know. It's just something about it. And all that. Um, but... Even for, like, dirt CMs, I... Rarely... I'm trying to remember the last dirt CM, or the past dirt CMs. I don't remember seeing Haru a lot. That's the thing, also. Um, but I haven't trained her in like such a long time. Rice shower. I think it's possible to win with her and all that. It's just simply you just have to go through her training and her her motivation spikes and all that. Um, who have I had a hard time though with? Hmm. I don't know, Echo. This is a really tough question because I haven't played everyone in my account. Some of them I haven't even played once because I haven't leveled them up and all that. For example, like Bamboo Memory. And I think I have... I think I have Mesuro Palmer. I'm not even sure. 
Um. Hmm. You really got me there, Echo. It's such a broad question because there's so many answers that anyone could pick. Off my own personal experience, I think the easiest answer for me because I just don't train her at all, it would be Haru. Only because, not because she's a dirt racer, it's just more of her schedule and all that. But I think I remember Yujin mentioning in the last LOH when I saw Haru in there was that she was actually, was it her? I'm trying to remember the comment specifically, but it was something about Haru actually being pretty, pretty good for dirt CM, I think. But yeah, I just want to, for me personally, I just say Haru because... I don't use her at all. Uh, but if we're gonna go by distance, that's gonna be even more tougher of a question because even though there's like meta options, you can still pretty much win still with other characters. It just all depends on how you train them. But since majority of the time, I would train characters that I'm familiar with or that I like and all that. It's kind of, <laughs> yeah, Matt, Echo, that is a tough question. I'd probably be sitting here all day just trying to think of that. Uh, but so far, if I was going to pick a distance, uh, I'd say short distance is pretty tough for me. As you can see, I still haven't gotten a really good one out of this. <laughs> I don't know if the RNG is just not in my favor this time around. Uh, but I don't I don't think they're harder to train. It just depends how you train them. I think that's more of a general answer to like any character. It just depends on how you train them. Like if you're trying to go for like four UG stats as a free to play player with the card that you have. For example, like me, trying to get a UF might not be as consistent. I haven't been really consistent in getting UF, but I know I'm capable of getting it. Uh, but still, it's just quite tough. I didn't expect that I'd be st <laughs> still trying to respond to comments this time around at this part of the video already or training. Which is crazy because we're almost done with the training. But, huh. I don't have a straight answer for that last one. Because there's so many different possi um different answers I could give you. Because if we're talking about CM, there's literally dirt. There's different distances, plus there's the dirt race as well. Um, I think my answer would mostly fall between dirt because of Haru. Um... But yeah, I can't really think of a good answer to give you because if I was going to pick like medium distance. It's not that I've had a hard time training a really good one for her Teo. Uh, it's just how it worked. Just how the training went. I think the highest I got with Teo is UG4. Long distance. <sighs> I can't really think about long distance. There's so many, along with medium distance, and then miles. There's a good amount of mile characters that I don't really have trouble. And short distance, as of right now, I'm just pretty much just getting normal runs with them, not a amazing run. So, yeah, I can't come up with a straight answer. I've said it like a few times already, but I can't come up with a straight answer for that one. Uh, Echo, you, you got me good there. I just feel like it's too broad of a question. And more like, I know it's more personal because you're asking me personally uh, who sh who should be more used in CMs and all that. Maybe if you would had mentioned like a distance and all that, it could probably be easier to answer. But even then, there's still a good amount of 
characters for me to choose from. And since I don't use a lot of characters when it comes down to preparations for CMs, I normally would just pick a three, maybe four. I think, okay, I think I have some kind of an answer. Um, if I was to pick characters, like I'm gonna go with characters. If they can find a way to like get like the OG characters besides for like maybe like Caps and Suzuka. Cause you don't see a lot of like normal, at least for me, normal special weeks. Uh, Gold Chip you do see on long distance. McQueen you do see. Like some of the old characters, if they can find a way, I think they have, cause they did that to Teo. But if they can like find a way to, I think they have buffed them in a way, but I feel like not all of them were buffed to the point where they'll be able to win in CMs more often. Uh, the only ones that I could think of would be like uh, the original Teo and Gold Ship, because I've seen Gold Ship a lot for long distances. Especially. Um, McQueen as well, I've seen. And... Actually, one character that I don't see a lot would be, like, Simbly Rudolph. And I haven't really tried getting, like, a UF for her. But I haven't even tried using her as well in Champions of Readings, but... Yeah. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. <laughs> I can't really come up with a straight answer. And I'm quite surprised that it took me the whole training run to answer all the questions. But thank you, everyone, for all the comments. Uh, I didn't expect to take that long to answer all the comments, but I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, I thought I really enjoyed it. Oh, I didn't go out on all the dates. <laughs> so I couldn't get that Godspeed one or Godspeed, right? Divine Speed? Something like that? But yeah, thank you for the comments. I did enjoy uh, responding to them in this video. And I don't think I got a lot of the skills that I normally pick here. So I guess I'll pick her Sommelier. And I think with the last, hmm, I could pick out more of these, but um, I usually pick green skills towards the end. Plus, I didn't get a lot of the skills that I normally get. Because I didn't get the goddesses skill and all that, but I think we'll be okay. Because this won't be... Yeah, I almost got power up there. Honestly, this could have been a good run. If I had gotten a little bit more power and a little bit more guts, to, and basically 100 more guts, I think it would have been fine. But I don't have an S in short distance. Uh, let's see. I think maybe UG4, UG5. Pretty good guess. I'm just going to go on. And yeah, we ended off with 1379 speed, 532 stamina, 1159 power, 905 guts, and 1218 on wise. Setup I use is the same as yesterday's. Because it was uh, Sonic Suzuka, so they're both runners. And I did end up losing a race as well. Uh, but let's actually go check out the characters. Because just to see who I haven't played at all. But yeah. Thank you guys for the comments. I think this is the best comment response I've had. Since it took pretty much the whole training <laughs> to get it done. But I did enjoy it a lot. So, 
thank you guys for the comments and just keep going down below keep commenting down below and i will respond as always now with characters that i haven't used obviously would be the ones in gray you can know bijin um uh, i think this was the steampunk narita taishin haru urara yeah measure of palmer oh i have camping <laughs> measure of dobra i didn't even know that uh bamboo memory and i haven't played twin turbo just yet because i want her to at least be a three star i only did soccer laurel once um as for characters i rarely train hishiyaka bono manhattan cafe I Ines fujin rice shower as well because she only i i don't have her level five i don't really and when it comes down to medium and long distance, I have already characters that I would normally pick. Uh, I shouldn't flash, but I normally would train the Valentine's one. Her when I need dirt races. <laughs> uh, Meisho Dodo, haven't trained her in a long time. Close and Jordan, haven't trained her in a long time as well. Didn't even use her for the event. Because... She gives event points. I haven't used the Symboli Rudolph in a long time. I actually haven't even seen the Symboli Rudolph used in like CMs. I think such a long time. I haven't used this Fantasy Alcondor Pasa. I haven't really used this McQueen. Um, Because I want... She's only level 3 to begin with. It's been a while since I've done Commander Special Week. Normal Special Week I haven't trained in a while. So yeah, there's a lot. Oh, Fuku over here. Super Creek. I think Super Creek would be fine for like long distance though. She automatically gives herself Arc Maestro. But you could tell who I mostly use. Um, I haven't used Gold Ship because I want her to at least be level four, but level five more specifically. Same with Air Groove. And who else do I have? King Halo, haven't used. But I use or in winning ticket, but I have used these five stars. I guess Measure Ryan, I haven't really used. And I guess not most of them I've used. The ones I mostly use here would be Sakura Baka Chanel, Nice Nature, Agnes Tachyon, and Vodka, if I was gonna pick there. But yeah, it's kind of hard to figure out who would be should be used more and all that because each character is different and all that and it depends if you want to use them or not and how you train them depend how you train them also will lead up to um whether or not you'll win but if we're talking about cms i think the hardest thing to pick characters to win for cms especially if they're characters that aren't normally chosen is the fact that the meta exists so with the meta out there a lot of characters majority of the of the cast will probably not end up um winning i'd say there's always like those once in a while a different character would win but majority of the time you'll see the typical meta characters win and that's pretty much it but that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. Um, thank you for all the comments once again. If you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. And maybe we'll have another training video where I'll take the whole, <laughs> the whole time for me to respond. Which I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. It keeps me more engaged with you guys. And it's it's really fun. It's really fun. This is probably the most fun I've had when it came down to responding to comments. I'm glad that I've chosen to respond to comments during the training videos rather than commenting because yeesh. <laughs> Imagine just me typing paragraphs instead, which I have before. I have before. So yeah. Um Echo, I hope I s answered your questions. Uh, to a point where it's all good with you. Uh, pretty, well, more specifically, the last one, but uh, for like the favorite Uma and favorite singer, 
hopefully uh you like the answers they gave you uh but let me know who yours is actually i don't know if you'll hear this part or if i'll remember to even to put the spoiler section when i'm editing or posting it but hopefully i do hopefully i do because if i oh i don't think i spoiled too much so i don't think i would but um echo let me know who yours is your favorite uma and favorite singer is also everyone else let me know down in the comments who your favorite uma and singer is, since echo has brought up that that um that question to me i want to know who yours are so with that being said guys thank you once again and as always i'll see you in the next one peace